Okay, so in this video, I'm going to fight the Ice Siren. It's one of the secret and optional bosses in Kingdom Hearts HD Remix 1.5 or Kingdom Hearts Dynamics also. You can unlock the gold match by completing the Hades Cut solo. And it just has to be the regular Hades Cut, not the time trial or the solo match. The boss isn't really that hard to beat. You just have to have a lot of time because it's a pretty long fight. It's probably one of the longest boss fights. And you have to have a lot of practice so that you can memorize his attack. Once you learn all the attacks, it becomes pretty predictable actually. So you there you just have to be like those sort of spikes. And then once he slams his fist on the or his palm on the floor, he does those spikes on the floor. The only way to do damage is if you deflect those spikes to him. Yeah, so guard is a must to defeat this boss. I don't think there's any other way to defeat him. If you try magic, I don't know. You might be able to hit him with a few fire spells or something. Also recommended is Beef Bracer so that you can heal even if you get hit. And you have to have a really good healing angle. One of my favorite parts are the edges of the stadium, in the corners. Yeah. There are some parts towards the middle where you can't even see if he's attacking you or not, so you can't tell once you play. And then once you do enough damage, he goes down and you just have to hit him with your heal. This is where you can do a lot of damage. Uh, air combo plus is pretty good right here, so you can get a few more hits in. Alright, once you get past those stages, every time he goes down, he gets a little bit tougher. He starts throwing more ice spikes, and then I think his attacks get a little bit faster too. I'm not sure. Uh, so, you have to get in a pretty good position to the fight so you can see the spikes. And right here, it's pretty easy to do damage. And this is one of the new attacks. He does like a little frost breath. And if you're in that area, you get frozen. Okay, and there's uh, another one. This is where Leaf Bracer comes in pretty good. So he throws like those uh, icebergs or whatever at you. You just have to dodge roll out or glide out. Or you can just use heal with Leaf Bracer and you won't even get hit. Because I think Leaf Bracer makes you and you need to damage when you're healing. So yeah, you just have to keep on deflecting. I see it's right there, I got frozen for a little bit. Alright, I managed to dodge one. I like to use glide to get out of it, but I think uh, dodge roll also works. Yeah. Alright, here we go. Do damage with the keyblade again. I only have one air combo plus attached right now. So as you can see, I'm doing a lot of damage with the Divine Rose. Yeah. And you don't really need any items, just high potions, I recommend them. You don't need like Aether or Elixir. You gotta find a good place and get in your groove. You gotta just spam square and once you're in your groove, you can just keep on spamming square and you'll deflect them off. But if you're a little bit off, you'll get hit after a few. I think you haven't seen it later on. I right, deflect that too, and then I get hit. And that's his new attack after he goes down once. But as you can see, he starts attacking with a new combo. Every time he stomps, he drops the little icebergs. But I didn't know that until later on, because I had never gotten this far. This is my first time getting this far. I started moving around too much. I was going with what I was doing in the beginning. But you just have to stay still in one section. Or else his attacks aren't gonna stop. Like right here you can see he's just not stopping. Alright. Then you can jump. Right here, this is a new attack. I didn't know how to dodge it. This one freezes you but for even longer and you just get comboed. This bracer is like a must here if you get frozen. Right there I use the high potion, I think it's a pretty good uh, 
what do you call it? It's pretty good alternative. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, it's such a pretty good alternative to Leaf Bracer because it heals you even if you get damaged as long as you manage to put it in fast enough. Yeah. No pun intended. Yeah, so you just have to stay still. I learned this later on. I think this is why it took me so long because I just kept on moving. Alright. So then you keep on deflecting. Alright. For this attack, you have to get into a corner. Get into one of the four corners of the stadium and it won't hit you. I learned this a little bit later on. And you just gotta keep on deflecting. Alright. I so yeah, keep on trying to evade by gliding out of the way, but you just have to get into a corner. This is what cost me a lot of my health. Get into a corner. But as you can see, I think I'm using high potion. Yeah, I'm using high potion. And it's a pretty good alternative to Leaf Bracer. So if you don't have Leaf Bracer, you can still do this. It's just a lot easier with Leaf Bracer. That way you don't have to use any of your potions if you're low on them. This is where I found out about the corner trick. Because I hadn't watched the guide, I just kind of tried to do this on my own. Oh, no. Alright, so he's just on one bar and a little bit more. Like a bar and a third of health left. Try to deflect it. I think I pressed play too late there. I heal. Alright, see, this is where I learned about the corner game. So I just rush into the corner. This is where you find you have to have a really good place in it. So yeah, I just keep on running into a corner. Every time you see him, kind of like, like he's about to flex or something. He's got to get to the corner. Yeah. Just cure and guard. Those are like the most important things. And once he gets into this third stage, once he goes down for the second time and then he get that, gets back up, he starts doing less of the ice spikes and he starts doing more of that freezing and the uh, ice work. So every time you he does the spikes, you just have to get into a position where you can deflect them. Oh uh, man, I feel really messed up on that one. I only got one hit in. Oh, this is a combo hit. And now he starts going a bit more, fat, yeah, a bit faster with the ice spikes, but that's good too, so you can deflect them. But as you can see, when he stomp, once he's on his second stage, really, he stops dropping the iceberg. So, yeah, just try to stay in one spot, and you'll be able to do this. It's not that hard of a blast. Here's how to learn his attack, and this is actually a pretty good way of leveling up if you're low level. Once you learn his attack, it's not that hard. You can do this with only cure, as long as you have like Leaf Bracer and MP Haze, MP Rage. Yeah, MP Rage and MP Haze are pretty good. Because if you do attack, you gain 8 MP. And if you get attack, if you take damage, you gain MP also. So he's just not a guy. He's just a little bit off and done. But. I'm kind of like all over the place so I can't get the dodges right because I'm trying to evade the, the freezing spell kind of thing. It's frost breath. So I started to fight them, still only way too really do damage. I just try to stay high on HP. Because if you get comboed once you're frozen and you don't have the tracer, you can die in like Two seconds. So having second chance is really good. So as you keep one HP and you get like a lot of damage done. And there we go, he's dead. I think I went through seven high potions or six. Six or seven high potions. So here's the cutscene once you beat him. Pretty similar to when you beat 80s actually.
So yeah, that's what happens when you beat the gold match and the ice titan. So you get the diamond dust, it's pretty good for MP. And I beat it on Final Mix Crowd, and you get the Frosty Giant Trophy. So here we go, I'm level 95. You could probably do this like at level 70. So compared to the Divine Rose, it's weaker, but you get 3 more MP. I think the Divine Rose is probably the third strongest. Only The only one that's better, well the two that are better are the Ultima, and then the... The one that South Rock gives you, the one that you get in the Platinum match. So yeah, that's what happens when you beat him.